decontract combinatorics, distilling the ultimate allocation scenario. After completing an RFP on the T-Contract platform, you will find all information regarding this bid summarized in the analysis module. You now might want to define special rules according to which the result should be optimized. The major benefit compared to a classical scenario analysis, you won't evaluate 5 to 10 predefined scenarios, instead all possible combinations will be examined according to your rules. Therefore we will upload the RFP information and the constraints you defined into the T-Contract combinatorial solver. The engine calculates the result based on the defined constraints. This result will be transferred back to the analysis module where it will be displayed. To get a little bit more into detail I want to show you a small case study. Take the result of this RFP which had 385 lanes and where we received in total 112 offers. For this RFP we decided to define constraints. At first we determined that we want to have at least 5 carriers to ensure stability for our deliveries over the contract period. At the same time we found it's a good idea not to handle more than 25 carriers to keep our own administrative effort under control. On the other hand we wanted to make sure that every carrier wins at least 3% of the total revenue to ensure the business is interesting for them. But we also didn't want to have carriers gaining more than 30% of the business to minimize our dependency on single carriers. RFP results and constraints were uploaded into the combinatorial solver which told us that there are trillions of possible combinations for this problem. In case one would try to analyze these possibilities with a program that could calculate 1 million scenarios per second, it would still take ages to get a result. But the amazing T-Contract combinatorial solver is able to deliver a result with 21 carriers where each carrier is in a revenue range between 3% and 10% in almost no time. The total package cost is 13.9 million euros which is deviating only 0.7% from the best price cherry pick scenario with 76 carriers. A pretty perfect result in our eyes.